Scream Fortress is nearing an end, and controversial it was. The contracts didn't work, there were many bugs, no update page, and comics. So overall, the update was unsuccessful, and you cannot argue with that whatever point you bring up to counter me. So I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. Valve should stop making Halloween updates. You are probably thinking that I am an idiot, dumb, or a troll. This is far from true, however. The lack of a future Screen Fortress update would bring many positives with it. The first point that I want to talk about is time. Time of which the TF team doesn't have much. This is why we didn't get any new content for Screen Fortress. The past two years, all we got was just the same content from previous years put into one big update. But, but what we got still actually takes time, you know, probably about a month. This includes all the bug fixes before the actual update happened and all the bug fixes during the update. This is of course a considerable amount of time that could be better spent on making other updates better, making uh, other major updates uh, without bugs, which always are a big problem. Uh, when new major updates are uh, released. The second point that I want to bring up is that the event is just too short. It lasts until the 16th of November, but truly it doesn't make sense after the 1st of November when the actual Halloween is over because it's just not fun after. All the fun is before. You know, this would leave, this only leaves us with one week of actual fun, which is which is very short. So one month of development for one week of fun is not worth it in development sense for the TF team. It's not worth spending this much time for such a short amount of time. It, other major updates, they uh, last a lot longer for three months. Gun, that was Gunmetal, Tough Break, three months. Meet the match update was a lot shorter, but that was uh, the fault of Valve for not releasing contracts. The last one that I want to talk about is related to the evolution of TF2. The TF team is trying to make TF2 become a more competitive oriented. CSGO for example is competitive oriented but you don't see uh, the CSGO development team releasing Halloween updates. This obviously excludes the pumpkin chickens of course but uh, that that cannot be called a proper Halloween update. The TF team is taking the same route as the CSGO team and this will without doubt allow them to achieve success. The TF team knows what's best for TF2. This is why they've been making these past Halloween updates shorter, worse quality. This is to eventually stop making these updates and by making the previous ones worse, they're bringing down our expectations, so we're not as disappointed when they remove the Halloween update. Thanks for listening, and I hope you take my points into consideration.